Let me call 911. Oh my. This car just caught fire, man. God. Oh, behind. The car is on fire. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Fivo OC. Yes, sir. Hey, it's a vlog time. And in this vlog, it's gonna be a long vlog, dog. It's ours road trip to Edmonton. We'll stay there for a couple days. So what it would take us. <laughs> stay there for a couple days and then head to Ottawa, do the passports, and get back in the city. You get me? So vlog time. If you're in Edmonton, let me know. Oh my. This car just caught fire, man. God. <sighs> Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Fimos. And like I said on Snap, something really like crazy just happened this past weekend. Like I couldn't even believe it. Honestly. And up till now, I'm still like in shock of the whole thing that just happened this weekend and this past. So right now, this is Thursday. Today is Thursday. So this happened on Sunday. Let me now tell you like the whole story, you know, like just how everything went down. So I wanted to go to Ottawa and then I checked like flight ticket like two weeks before and I was seeing like eight hundred or something ish like go oh, come round trip. Seen like eight hundred or something. So I made like budget and plans of okay, 800 for the trip and then other expenses, everything, everything, everything. I was like, okay, this is the amount I've put out for this trip with like extra for like unforeseen circumstances and all that. And then I check again and I'm seeing like 1,100 for the round trip. Like to go the next week. So I was like, oh my, this to get prices up is like, it's like flying high, like a lot of days. Like you can check ticket prices today, and when you see, like literally tomorrow, it's like 200 plus. I was like, see, 1,100 for the tickets. And then my friend was gonna go to um, Edmonton. Um, we had like some stuff to take care of there, and he was also going for Tiwa show in Edmonton. So I was like, okay, instead of instead of using like this one thousand one hundred for the ticket, I might as well just like go go with you for the road trip to Edmonton. Then from Edmonton, I'm gonna see if I can check for flights to Ottawa and see if it's gonna be cheaper. So I checked and I was seeing like when I checked it, I was seeing like 900 or something. So I was like, okay, since going with you is gonna be like, okay, I go with you by road, get to Edmonton, then from Edmonton, I fly to Ottawa straight. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like $200 lower. So instead of paying 1,100, I'll pay 900 for the round trip. I go to Ottawa, blah, blah, blah. So that was it. So I was like, okay, let's do it. I'll join you, your trip to Edmonton, and then from there, I'll just go to Ottawa. And he was like, okay, no problem. 
no issue, blah blah blah, sorted everything out. So apparently his car is like a very old car, old model, lots of mile, lots of mileage on it. So it was not like a new car, it was like a very old car, lots of mileage, everything. But he went to do like the servicing and everything, and they said the car was good. And this, I don't know, like this is the first time I'm going to see like the car on a very long. My this trip to Edmonton is going to take like eight hours. So I don't know. I've never seen the car run like so that kind of that kind of distance. You know, so the plan was to leave here, like leave here 4 a.m., 5 a.m., get there like 11, 12 in the afternoon. And then like spend the whole day in Edmonton before I go. So we left here by five and everything was going smoothly, everything was going like alright, everything was nice and smooth. And then when it was we were like kinda low on gas and then we went to buy gas and then we started going. No, we're not low on gas, like gas was half, but we just wanted to fill it up again because we had like three hours, 30 minutes to get to a meeting. So we just wanted to like refill the tank and make it full before we get to a meeting. So we did that and then five minutes into like the three hours, 30 minutes left, the car started bringing, because I was sitting at the passenger seat, at the passenger side in front so i could see like the side mirror and everything so first i just noticed like a lot of smoke was coming out from the exhaust like it was crazy like the smoke was already covering you know like the side mirror has like this small kind of space by the side so when I look, I was seeing like the smoke was covering like the whole side mirror thing. And I was like, oh, like this, this is not normal. Like this exhaust is bringing way too much smoke. And then he just called me and said, oh, look, like the speedometer is not reading again. Like I think the alternator cuts. So the speedometer wasn't reading, but the car was still moving and everything was still like moving smoothly. Then I was like, ah, the speedometer is not, like, it's not, it's not really, like, you can't know, like, the speed that he's going right now. And then, we just parked the car at the corner of the road. And then we stepped down. When we stepped down, like, the car was overheating like crazy. Like, from the bonnet, we could see, like, smoke coming out from the sides. So he opened um the bonnet and immediately he opened it he said yo there's fire so i think it was like just a little bit of fire that was there and then we were like oh shit and everyone was trying to get out of the car i like i just came out i left my phone my laptop my because i was going I was gonna film when I get to anything and everything. So I came with my camera, my laptop, my everything. So he just said, yo, there's fire. So everyone just ran out of the car. I left my phone, I left my laptop, I left my camera, I left everything. What I was after, I was like, yo, is a car fire. Let me try and save myself first. So I just ran out of the car, everybody ran out. Then we were trying to like move back move away from the car for the meantime trying to call 911 everything then we went back a bit and then we started seeing like the fire drop down like it was like you know when oil is dripping down from from a, from a car that's how the fire was like dripping down it was just dripping down and then in, in like two minutes the whole car caught fire Bro, like I'm telling you, it was.
it was it was just too crazy like i couldn't even believe it. it was like it was like a movie in two minutes this whole car was on fire like the fire was crazy it was not like oh it's just the bonnet like the fire went around the car and it was like the whole car was just the whole car was just on fire and then we called 911 call um fire department guys and we were like one hour away from the closest available town so they were like oh it's gonna take like it's gonna take them like an hour for them to get here and we we're like oh shit like this car is burning like crazy and, uh, everybody in our heads we were like yo is this gonna explode or what so we we're trying to like move far away from the car in case it blows up or something we we're just trying to move away from the car then Everyone was trying to just save themselves first to see if the cars are gonna blow up, waiting for the fire guys. So it was it was it was it was a crazy experience because it was just it was so weird. So everyone was like, yo, what's happening right? Like? But uh, everyone was just like confused and in shock and terrified and just trying to save themselves because We've never seen this thing before. We like all we see on TV is like when a car is on fire, like it just blows up and the car just flies and everything just so we're just trying to go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. People were passing like asking asking us, yo, have you called 911? Have you called 911? So we're like, yeah, we call them, they're coming. Some people like came down, brought food for us, brought this for us, and like, yo, are you okay? Yeah, they, they, they. So we're like, yo, we're still waiting for like the fire department guys. We're still waiting, still trying to see when they're gonna come through. But the fire was like, it was just going like crazy. Like the whole tires were just burning, and the car was just coming down. It was just, it was a lot. And the fact that we just filled up the tank made it burn like more. So everyone was scared that yo. We just filled up the tank. Is is the tank, is the um floor gonna like ignite the whole thing and this sky just gonna explode? So we were just like everyone was scared. Everyone was it was like a crazy time. Praying, praying, terrified, thankful, grateful, hoping. It was just crazy. So I'm like in like like 20 i think like 20 25 minutes the fire guys the police guys came and then later on the fire department guys came they tried to stop the fire the cold water cold water, cold water. Oh, this is even uh what is it called uh, and then when they quenched the fire, we went close to the car and the car was gone. Like everything was gone. Like everything was gone. The car was the car burnt to the to the max. Like the seats were gone. The the bonnet, the steering was gone. And the only thing left was like the skeleton, the skeletal part of the car. Everything was gone. The tires like the rims, everything was gone. You can see inside, sir. What the? Inside, we're in the Just like the skeleton of the car that was left. So we're like, yo. In my head, I'm like, God. I'm, I'm thankful because like imagine if we didn't notice all these signs and we just kept on going like what would have happened because the car was already on fire apparently so imagine we didn't notice all these signs and we were like ignorant and just kept on moving like what would have happened so this is my this is my story this is my testimony and I'm just coming out here 
openly to thank God for life, to thank God that no one got injured, no one, no one, no one was injured, no one was harmed, like everyone came out of the car before anything even happened. So I'm just coming out here to thank God for life, to thank God for, for Johnny Mercy, to thank God for, for, for everything. Like, you know, we prayed before leaving. God heard us, He answered us. So I just, I'm just coming out here to thank God for life and to share my story. And to encourage you guys out there, yo, if you're trying to go somewhere, if you're trying to do anything, just say a little word of prayer. I mean, you never know. You never know what can happen. Well, that word of prayer can help, can, can, can do a lot of things. You know. So that's what happened. And then when the fire guys came, everything, we started out everything. So they had to take us to, they had to take us to back to the nearest, they had to take us back to the nearest town, which was like an highway. It took us the nearest town, which was like an highway. It took us the nearest town, which was like an highway. And then they didn't have like car rentals there. It was like a very small town. They didn't have like car rentals. Nothing was there. And we had to like finish up the journey. Yeah, so we didn't have car rentals. So we we're confused. We we're trying to call like neighboring cities to see if they had like car rent house open and everything but they said they didn't have so we found a new haul truck and we went to ask them you know how much can we rent this to get to Edmonton it's like it's gonna be like a four hours drive so how much is it gonna be they were like yo it's gonna be like 400 you guys gotta pay and we had no like we had no options pay the 400 finish the trip so our plan was once we get to Edmonton we drop the U-Haul and rent another like vehicle to use to move around Edmonton and stuff like that but when we got to Edmonton apparently we went to airport and all the cars all the car rentals everyone their cars were sold out everything was sold out so it was just it was just a crazy experience and when we got there we later found like a minivan and since that was the only one left the nigga also charged us like 300 or something for a day but we didn't have any choice so that's how we went down everything i mean the moral of this is just it's just me sharing my my experience and everything that went down this weekend and all I gotta say is thank God, I thank God for my life. I thank God for the life of everyone that was in the trip. I thank God for Johnny Messi's and everything. Like it was it was just a crazy experience. It was a crazy experience. So make sure you like the video, comment if you are new to the channel. Subscribe. This is what you will see. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. We're out of here. You want it all?